So Violet, you're next up, and I think this is the dough that you actually shaped. Okay. So what you're gonna do to start out with is you're gonna sort of get under it and boop, flop it over onto here, okay? Awesome, perfect. Now, you're gonna to wanna to put a little flour on the top of it, so just get a little flour here, and then sprinkle that on the top. Yep. And you can even use your hand just to sort of, yeah, and then flip the dough. So right at this point, you're just getting a little flour on the screen. Now, you can start with your fingers. This is like the finger set. It's looking really good. Just flip it over and a little more fingers like that. You can pay attention if there's an area that feels a little thicker, you can give it a little more attention. You're just trying to get sort of evenly spread out. Awesome. Now, you can figure out where you, now you can do the crust step. So figure out how big a crust you want. And remember, it's gonna almost double in size the crust. So if you're like, yeah, so pick out the size you want and then just run your finger around in a circle. Lift the dough and spin it so you got a good angle on the next part. Yep. Yeah. How far can you press? It's like you don't want to go through it, but you want to go as hard as you can without going through it. You're just making like a nice line. It's like pinching a little line in there. That's good. Now you move on to the third step of shaping it. So you're going to want to just lift it on like the back side of one of your hands. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Yep. And exactly. Just sort of letting it move gently. You got pizza maker eye. Do you want to be bigger? Or you like that size? It's up to you. Bigger. Yep. So then just keep doing that a little bit more. That's probably a really nice size. Well, now before you put it here, though, we want to put some rice flour. So just set it right there. Perfect. Get a little rice flour. Sprinkle that on. You can use it as much as you need to. You can use the whole thing. We've got more. Nice. All right. Now just lift it up gently like you did before. Yep. That's great. And then plop it up there. And this is a. I. I, I may not have said this really loudly, but. You want to put your pizza on the pan before you start topping it. So like this is a major place to go down the wrong path. If you start making that pizza and it's all beautiful, you got all your sauce on it and everything, but it's not on the pan, good luck. Like that's a that's a giant mess. It's really I've done it on like when it's facing out sometimes, I'm like, oh, and it's really, really hard to come back from. At that point, just make a calzone. <laughs> flip it over, pinch it down, and make a calzone. But it's really, really hard to move a floppy dough. Um, so make sure you get it on the pan before you start putting the toppings on. Um, do you want to make a tomato one, or do you want to make the pesto one? You can do a tomato with no cheese, or you can do the pesto. Go for it. So I'm going to start with some olive oil. Maybe a little bit more. That's great. You don't need a lot, but it's easier to spread if you have a little more. And then you can just use the back of that same spoon. It's like, you know, it, it does, it's not gonna hurt it. That's awesome. And depending on like what, how you eat at your house, you may make up all your pizzas and put them in the oven together, and that would work fine. Uh, at our house, we tend to like make one, put it in, make one, put it in, and sometimes if people are really hungry, they start eating one while one's being made. Um, you know, depends what you're aiming for, but if you all want to sit down together, then you may just want to set them all up and put them in. They're going to cook pretty quickly. They're going to take about, I mean, in my oven, it'll take me about 14 minutes, 12, 14 minutes. Uh, in your oven, it may take a little longer. It may be shorter. You're going to have to pay attention. Um, and we'll, we'll show you some tricks on how to know when the pizza's done. All right. Sure. 
more? Or? I mean, it's up to you, sweetie. You, it's totally up to you. So Violet's gonna make this without cheese. I know that. So I would say, like, if you're making without cheese, you might as well just use up the rest of it. A little more tomato sauce than we otherwise do. But you can still see, this was what we gave you in the kit to make one pizza. And so we've made like two, and one of them has even more than it should. So there really would have been enough for almost three pizzas here. Um, you just want to go easy on the tomato sauce. You don't want to try and get it all on one pizza. All right, I think that's looking awesome, Vi. And then you want to put some meatballs on it. So Violet's just making this without cheese because she's been eating vegan. Um, a simple tomato pie is delicious. This tomato sauce works really, really well this way. When it comes out, We'll probably put a little olive oil on it, and maybe we'll put some basil leaves or something like that, and it'll be super satisfying and yummy. Do you want to do like a, um, do you want to put some of the tempeh strips on it too? Sure. All right, so with all of these toppings, we've been a little generous. Like the toppings we have here are really intended for two total pizzas, but we're making three out of them, but there should be plenty. So you want to break some of that. So this is the um, tempeh, the smoky tempeh that we're using on the pesto pizza but um, I think that there's gonna be plenty for that and this, and so Violet can be sort of a vegan meat lover's pizza. <laughs> uh, we have vegan cheese in the fridge, and sometimes we use that on pizzas, but sometimes kids like it better without the vegan cheese. Um, that, that looks good, so why don't you put it in? I'll open it for you, and we can see the pizza that's cooking in there right now. Actually, let me uh, pull that out. Camera. So you can see, so this is not done. Uh, the things that are telling me that is like, the color of that's a little bit blonde. The pizza, the cheese isn't where I want it to be. And the most important thing is the underside is still a little floppy. When it's done, it'll be more stiff and structural. And it's also blonde in color. So I know that needs a little more time. Want to put yours in? Yeah. 